from Windsor West. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Acting Premier. Yesterday, the Auditor General reported that this Liberal government has neglected social housing for so long that there are now more people waiting for social housing than actually living in social housing. The wait list in, in Ontario has grown by 36 per cent since the Liberals have been in power. That's 185,000 families. In my riding, in Windsor, we have 4,000 people, families, on our wait list. Yet, the number of social housing units mandated under the Housing Service Act has grown by zero. Some families have to wait close to 10 years before they are provided with a place to live. Imagine their lives in those 10 years. Could anyone in this house hold on that long before their families had a safe, secure place to live? Speaker, Question. why has this Liberal government refused to ensure that there is enough social housing to meet the needs of struggling Ontario families? Minister of Housing. Minister of Housing, responsible. Thank you, Mr. Property Speaker. I'm very pleased uh, uh, with the question from the member opposite. And Mr. Speaker, let me tell you what we have been doing yeah. for social housing during our uh, period in government. 20,000 units of affordable housing have been built in this province. Mr. Speaker, uh, specifically to the member opposite, during that period of time. 320 new units of affordable housing in Windsor being created. Uh, so almost 6,000 affordable housing units have been repaired in Windsor. Wow. Uh, 307 uh, households in Windsor received down payment assistance, wow. and thousands of evictions have been prevented. Wow. In addition, Mr. Speaker, through our programs, we're assisting with the uh, refurbishment of our social housing stock, thanks to the funds from the Cap and Trade program, which will be in jeopardy if another party comes into power. Oh, Mr. Speaker, yes, we are active on this file. We are creating more housing and creating more affordable housing for Ontarians. Great. Thank you. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Back to the Acting Premier. What this Liberal government has done is increase the wait list for social housing by 36 per cent and put 185,000 families at risk of homelessness. In the late 90s, the Conservative government downloaded social housing onto municipalities without providing a way to pay for it. The Liberal government clearly liked the Conservative policy because they have refused to reverse that ill-conceived decision. Then, in 2013, this Liberal government went even further. They cut provincial funding for municipal housing, social housing, by $150 million a year. And now, about a third of all social housing in Ontario is at risk of being lost forever due to the expiry of contracts, which will allow private landlords to convert social housing into condos. What would this Liberal government do to Question. save these social housing units, and will they commit to building enough new units to meet the needs of Ontario families? Uh, Mr. Speaker. Our government uh, this year uh, announced an investment of $657 million to repair our existing social housing stock. We, we announced $200 million in investments for affordable housing to ensure there are most vulnerable populations, the homeless, wow. victims of domestic violence, victims of human trafficking, get homes that we can build with appropriate supports. Here, here. Mr. Speaker, uh, the member opposite is correct in noting, as the Auditor General does on page 730, that between 1996 and 2002, there was no affordable housing built in this province. Oh my God. That was by the Ontario PC party, the Ontario party of cuts, and because their platform once again is silent on the issue of housing, we can only yes, assume sir. the $6 billion of cuts will come out of the housing budget. Oh, we you. are increasing. Uh, 